Okay, so your involvement in the Rotary Club uh, here in Lansing, East Lansing area, and you were telling me a little bit ago about uh, how you're connected to the Lost Boys. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, right at the turn of the century, we had uh, close to 300 people from South Sudan who arrived in Lansing, uh, including quite a few of the Lost Boys. And they were kids that uh, under 12 or 15 had to leave home and they wandered for several years before they ended up in a refugee camp. And uh, there they learned pretty good English. They could speak English quite well when they got here, but, but, but they couldn't read English very well or write it. And, and so you got involved in so building I got the school? involved in helping them assimilate to the Lansing culture. That's what it was. Yeah. We taught them how to buy food, how to, we taught them, helped them find uh, housing, though both the, uh, uh, the Catholic and uh, Lutheran social service groups were working with them. And then you built a school in Sudan, the Rotary we Club? We started uh, after we had worked with them for about 10 or 15 years. One of the members of the group, a fellow named Abraham Najak, uh, wanted to build a school in the village where he was born. And he had left that as a youngster, probably only five or six years old. But uh, we agreed that it was a worthwhile object, and so we took, took it on as a project. And our Rotary Club has pretty much financed all of that in five and $10,000 grants that they have given us.